are you cleansed? Or are you being fooled by Satan to believe in religion? Are you fooled by Satan to believe that you're good enough? The Bible says there is none good, no, not one. If you think you can earn your salvation, then why did Jesus come? Why did he go to Mount Calvary? Why did he lay his life down that you may have life more abundantly? Because you can't do it. You can't save yourself. You can't save anybody. Only Christ saves. For God so loved the world, yet yeah, the Bible says, and yet yeah, God is love. God looked down upon your miserable condition, your, what you are. He saw your death. And for God so loved the Creator, the one that made you, the potter, looked at the vessel and said, There is no hope. Alone without God, without hope. If you're not saved today, if you not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have no hope. Titus 2.13 says, The blessed hope, the Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father. That is the hope. And it's not Jesus Christ that you can swallow. It is not Jesus Christ who's not God but a good teacher and a good prophet. It is not Jesus Christ that came to North America. It is not Jesus Christ that's still hanging on a cross around your neck. It is not a thousand lies about Jesus Christ because Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 that there's another Jesus out there. you got to make sure you have the Jesus of the Bible. You better make sure you have the Jesus that is God. And Jesus is God and God is Jesus. You gotta make sure you have the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. There are other Jesuses out there. You gotta have a Bible to be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. The whosoever is any and all of you. The whosoever. God is reaching out to you. God is calling you. You can hear my voice. You are whosoever. And you can't hear my voice because of deafness. You still are whosoever. Whether male or female, young or old, whosoever. And I know my voice can travel throughout this entire farmer's market, so I'm calling to each and every one of you. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. And I don't mean to say Jesus Christ as an occurrence. I mean Jesus Christ as Savior, as God, as somebody who is the remedy of the sin of your life. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, God is offering you a gift. Who would be so foolish to, re to take away and not receive a gift? Especially one that's of God. Especially of God that says, I love you, I sent. A God that says, love not of lust, but of sacrifice. Jesus Christ gave of himself of a sacrificial love, came down this miserable planet out of the Holy of Holies. Where there was no sin, there was no doubt, there was no pain and agony. And yet, in the world since the day he was born, there was no room for him. Don't let that be your heart today. Open your heart and make room for the Savior. Make room for Jesus Christ. Call upon him. Ask him to save you of your sins. Repent of your sins. Turn. And whosoever believes in him should not perish. Perish means you go bad. It's got to be thrown out. It's no good. It's beyond the expiration date. 
I'm here to tell you the Bible says that you have an expiration date, and one day you'll meet that expiration date, you'll take your last breath, and if you are not of Jesus Christ, you'll be perishing off into hell for all eternity. You're no good to God if you perish. You're no good if you didn't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have not believed on God's Son as your soul Savior, as in the life that you can have for Jesus, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you have not believed on God's Son as your salvation, God does not love you. Because John 3, 16, the love is past tense. For God so loved. You want God to continue to love Him. And you want God to continue to love you. It's all based upon the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't love His Son, He don't love you. It'd be foolish to think that God is love when you reject His Son. It'd be foolish to think God is love and you want nothing to do with His Son. For all the Bible, for all the ages, it's all based upon Jesus Christ. A name that's given about the men whereby you must be saved. There's no other name. I'm sorry, it's not Buddha, it's not the Buddha, it's not Muhammad, it's not Allah. It's only the Lord Jesus Christ, the name above all names. The name that God says is the ticket to heaven because of His finished work upon Calvary. The Bible says in John 3, 16, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, that's anybody and everybody. But well, let me tell you about a whosoever in Revelation. Revelation chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20. If I turn there. John 3, 16, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I'm having trouble turning the pages here. Well, John chapter 20, or Revelation chapter 20, there's another whosoever. You could be the whosoever and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, or Revelation chapter 20, whosoever was not found in the, in the last book of life was cast into the lake of fire. You could be the whosoever and ends up in hell and burning. You could be the whosoever to be saved.
feel good. I'm here to get you under conviction. I'm here for the Holy Spirit to work in your heart. I'm here to tell you. You have a destination and you can change it. You can change it by the testimony, by the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that He died for you. He was buried and He arose again the third day. Go check the graveyards. No other person is missing from the graveyard today but Jesus. And Jesus, the Bible records in Acts chapter 1, is at the right hand of the Father. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. Let me tell you that. You won't stand at the gates of heaven and say, i got religion. God will say, go to hell. Go to hell with your religion. And you stand at the gates of heaven and say, Lord, I'm in here by your son, by the precious blood of your, of your son who died for me. I'm a worthless, vile sinner. I don't even deserve it. Lord God, I deserve hell, but I am saved by your son, by the testimony, by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Enter thou in. Well done. Not 
1. According to John chapter 3, you are already in condemnation if you have not called upon Jesus as your Savior. You are already damned. Oh, there's another bad word the preacher used. Damn, hell, he's angry. Yeah, I'm angry at what Satan does to pervert and to, uh, to mislead people. I'm angry at the people rejecting a free offer of God. I'm angry that they won't adhere to the word the Bible says, be angry and sin not. I ain't sinning. I'm so angry here preaching on the street, but if I were to get up and say, all the ballers preach, it comes across the plate, and he hit the ball, it's way out in the outfield. Yeah, you love that. If I would bring a boombox, a radio here, and blast it as high as it will be blasted, you love that. But get a man with a Bible and speaks out in oil so all can hear he's angry. You know what they did with the apostles and Jesus for preaching? They killed them. All but the apostle John were all deaf by a violent death because of their preaching. Now the Bible says, Oops, my page changed. Make sure you check your page. The Bible says, in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow, pure. The purest white, I believe, that's on this planet, it would be snow without man's touch. Your red sin blotch stain forever to be seen cleaned by man and religion. And yet God can take that stain and make it white as snow. Where the Bible says as far as the east from the west. How do I do that? I don't want to come out before anybody. I'm afraid. I don't want to step out, but I'm listening to you. I want to be saved. First John Chapter 1, verse 9. First John 1, 9. I'm turning there now. First John 1, 9. First John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, if conditional. God has given you a free choice, a free will. You can confess your sins to God and be saved. Or you can go confess your sins to a priest and be lost as much as an atheist. Listen, in the eyes of God, religion, you're just as worse as an atheist. Because you don't believe in what God said. God said, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And when you run to religion and all the stuff they do, you ain't listening to God. You're rebelling against God. And you're just as much as an atheist. An atheist won't listen to God either. 